Welcome to another freezing week at the Tiroler Inn. It is again a couple negative degrees Celsius or probably around 30 Fahrenheit. And I have to do some cleanup here first, get all the wood uh, somewhere stacked, and then take all the nails out of the floor that are still in it so that I can take the rest of the second layer out. Um, or actually start on the second layer and take it all out and maybe even get to the other room over there in the kitchen but first things first let's get a little bit of heat going here So now that we have the floor off, cleaned up a little bit, we have to take all these old nails out that they used to mount the hardwood floor on top of the normal, on top of the old pinewood floor. So we have to take them all out. Theoretically, if I would just take this floor out and get rid of it, I wouldn't have to do anything. I would just take the boards off. But in our case, we want to reuse the floor after we take it out and put a new sub floor on it. We want to reuse it. So therefore I need to take all the nails out anyways. And while it's in this uh, uh, position, it's a little hard on my knees, but it's gonna be much easier to take the nails out when it's all one flat surface instead of you having a single board and you're trying to pry it all always out. So just gonna be a lot of work to get all these nails out, but we kind of have to do it. So let's get started on it. Before we can get started on taking out the floor here in the kitchen and then also the dining room, the second layer, we have to take out this wall. I think there is going to be some more insulation behind it and there's a little bit of wet spot here so I can tell somewhere here some water. We have some water intrusion so we're going to see what's going on there and the reason why we actually have to take it out is otherwise I would just leave this panel for right now but the first few boards are right underneath there. So I need to take it out so that we can actually get started.
think this was a pretty... <sighs> I think we made some good progress today. You can tell I got the kitchen, the majority of the floor taken up. What I'm missing here is this portion in between and then the dining room and then obviously all the subfloor but as you can tell most of the boards actually came out pretty nicely even the grooves and tongues tenants are all still there so we can definitely reuse it the floor was definitely in really good condition over here the only spot that I had some rot was right there underneath, underneath the window which is expected with a really old house to have some issues around the windows so tomorrow Sunday we'll be working over here and in the dining room again getting all of that first layer removed so that we can lay the underlayment here so it's Sunday afternoon first thing I have to do is clean out these boards move them over to another room to the other room Sunday afternoon it's Sunday afternoon and I think I got a good amount of work done we finished the floor in the kitchen area we took all the old pine wood floor out we finished that part and now the next thing that we would have to do in this area would be take the underlayment out the old one you can see they made a lot of holes where they had kitchen probably uh, a sink or something and over there and over there some rotted area underneath the window so We'll have to take and replace a lot of those uh, boards anyways, so uh, we decided of just taking it all out, put new underlayment on there, and before I do that, I have to still also take out the second layer of the pine wood floor that we want to reuse in the dining room area so that we can do all of that underlayment work all at once, and we don't have to do it in two sittings, and we can actually all make it one level since the floor is going to be continuous. So I will probably do a lot of that stuff tomorrow. I'll have to make a run to the dump tomorrow because I have so much stuff over there and I still have um, to clean out some of the areas uh, around it. And I think that will be the best just to do it now before I lay all the underlayment and have less access then. So I'll have to do that tomorrow and then I will uh, continue working on the floor. I'm actually off this week, so maybe I'll get a little bit of extra work done. Um, Julie and I, we want to take the kids somewhere into the snow and maybe go tubing or something during the week. So not sure yet how, how much time I will have to work on the house, but I'll sure I'll be more than the usual weekends. So gonna be hopefully make a lot of progress this week.
One important thing I just want to say is always leave the dump site cleaner than when you found it. For the next person you don't want to have them roll over a nail or anything and therefore just clean it up after you're done. I'm not sure how well this is going to show on the camera but here I'm going to try to show how they wanted to fix this floor you can see here we have the old pine floor here is the area where everything was rotten so they all they did is put a 2 by 6 next to each other uh, on top here of the subfloor and then these quarter inch thick oak pieces to imitate the other oak floor that we had on top and I can tell you that I don't know much about flooring but this is definitely not how you're supposed to do this you fix the floor underneath it and then you put actually the same thickness of flooring on top again and not just wonky boards like this that never gonna hold and when as soon as you walk on it it's gonna break again So you can tell all the floor is out, just the sub floor is left. I think that's it for this week. We were able to do a whole run to the landfill. We finished taking all the nails out of the floor and then actually take out the entire pine layer everywhere else so that we can reuse it, we stacked it. So we just now have to next week start on the subfloor take that all out and put new subfloor on top there might be some areas we have to fix some of the joists and everything that has rot but I think in general the area is in pretty decent shape so we'll see how much work that will be thanks for watching see you guys next week bye